Hey guys, welcome back to the ninth video of the SciPy Tutorials for Beginners series. In this video, I'll be showing you how to perform optimization using SciPy. So this will be the problem that we'll be solving. We will be minimizing a squared plus b squared. In other words, you're going to find the optimal values for a and b such that a squared plus b squared is at its minimal value. The initial condition will be a is equal to 200 and b is equal to 500. So the way this algorithm works is that it'll start at these values and it'll slowly opt optimize towards the optimal values for A and B. And it'll try to minimize this objective function over here. This function is called the objective function. All right, so I'll show you now how to perform that optimization. I'll show you how constraints work uh, after this, after we solve this problem, all right? So first we need to import NumPy. Next we also have to import SciPy and use the minimize function. So from scipy.optimize, we'll import minimize, right? So this will be the function that we'll be using. Next we need to define the objective function. So define objective x so x will be the input and then we will unpack it into a and b right or i'll just make it a little simpler x0 x1 and then i'll just return a squared plus b squared Okay, next we need to create our initial condition. So x0 will be the initial condition. And then we'll just make a numpy array with 200 and 500. Okay, next we will now perform the minimization. So solution is equal to minimize. And then in the minimize, the first argument will be the function. Then will be the initial condition. And then we need to specify the method. Yeah, I'll just shrink this window here. So method will be equal to SLS QP. So this will be the method that we'll be using. There are other methods, but uh, you can just see it from the SciPy documentation. And finally, we'll just print out the solution. Okay, so we got, so this is the output that we have gotten from printing solution. So first is the function value. So this is the lowest possible value for a squared plus b squared, right? This is the optimum value. Okay, then this is the message over here. It optimized successfully. This is the so success is true. So I'm only showing the most important ones. Uh, so success is equal to true, and then x array 0, 0. So this is the value for a and b. So the optimum values for a and b is 0 and 0. Right? What we can do is that we can see if this is actually working correctly. So what we'll do is we'll make it a minus 4 and then b minus 3, right? So in this case, a must be 4 and b must be 3. Those are its optimum values, right? Okay, so here we get 4 for a and 3 for b, right? So when we substitute the values in, this expression will be 0. And this function, this value here will be also 0. I can also add 10. And you can see that over here, the value for a and b is the same. So this part over here is 0. And the function value will be 10. So now we'll be learning how to apply constraints to our optimization. So here the constraint is that a plus b must be equal to 100. So our optimal values of a and b must add up to 100. All right, so we need to apply this constraint and 
SciPy allows us to do that very easily. So first we need to define a function. So define constraint one and then x. So x is the same as x in the objective function. So again, you just have to get the value of a and the value of b, right? And then we need to return. So what we'll do, we'll take a plus b minus 100. All right, so we'll just take the 100 and put it to the left side. We'll take it to the left side. And so in other words, we need this constraint here to be equal to zero. So in SciPy, you can actually have multiple constraints. Our constraints will be have to be will have to be in a list. So I'll just call this list cons over here. And then within the list, you'd have a dictionary. And in the dictionary, we're supposed to have the type of our constraint. So type colon. And then this is equality, right? So eq, comma, and then the function will be constraint one over here right so function will be constraint one and that's our list of constraints and now we just need to give this list to our minimize function so constraints is equal to cons so hopefully it runs correctly okay so it looks like it worked so here what we have is the optimum values for a and b is 50 and the value of the objective function is about 5000 it's very close to 5000 right and you can see that the values for a and b satisfy the constraint so 50 plus 50 is equal to 100 over here okay so that's how the equality constraint works Okay, so here I've added another constraint, which is a times b must be greater than 100. All right, so let's apply that constraint. In fact, I'll just copy this constraint over here because they're quite similar. So I'll just name this constraint 2 and then a times b and this time so what we'll do here is that we'll take 100 and take it to the left side okay and the way this works is that this expression over here that you return must be greater than zero must be greater than or equal to zero all right so because the type over here is equality so when i add in the second constraint it'll be an inequality right and then constraint two. So this inequality over here, it works by taking in the expression and it'll see if that expression is greater than zero. Okay, so just make sure that this expression here is greater than zero and it shouldn't be less than zero. That's why I took 100 to the left side instead of taking AB to the right side. So you can see that in the constraint list, I put both constraints, okay? And you can see that, okay, so the new constraint didn't have any effect. So what I'll do is I'll just delete the first constraint. Okay, so. Okay, so here you can see that the new constraint over here, A times B, must be greater than 100 it has an effect so both values are now around 10 okay so that's how you apply the inequality constraint okay so finally we'll be adding bounds so the way this works is that we'll basically limit the values of a and b to being between 10 and 50 so it has to be greater than 10 and it, it has to be less than 50 all right so the way you add the bounds is really simple so what i'll do is i'll just create a variable called bound and then make a numpy array and then you'll have 10 comma 50 all right and then next we need the 
bounds list so we have two variables right so we'll just make a tuple then bound bound okay so this is the bound for a and this is the bound for b so the bounds are the same so i'm just reusing the variables over here and then what i'll do is that i'll just add the bounds to the minimize function So in this case, you can see that the values for A and B is 10. So this is the optimum value for A and B. And they follow the bounds, right? Because they're still like around 10. They're a little bit above 10 since these are float values. Uh, but yeah, that's how you apply bounds. And that's pretty much it for optimization in SciPy. If you like this video, then please do consider giving a like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video